I'm inside the Zaman International Workforce Kitchen, and it would be easy to say that this is where the magic happens as they launch a brand new line of online cookies. But when you just walk outside these doors, then you find that there is an industrial sewing school, and right here, a culinary school. And what you realize is beneath the roof of this warehouse, there is an evolving city of hope and help. Driving the narrative and the success, founder and CEO Naja Bazi pulls into the parking lot in her Subaru. As a CNN hero, the auto company gave her nonprofit, Zaman International, $50,000 and then put her mission no. and some of her graduates into a commercial. No one signs up to be poor. No one wants to be born into poverty. The CNN campaign altogether, we were able to raise over $300,000, which we were able to leverage our influence and build out our dream here. She leases because she supports the companies that are supporting her mission to eradicate poverty and suffering and to pave the road to success through education and training. So what's happening here, this is our commercial kitchen that produces product to market. Our clients are trained in our culinary arts program and then they're employed here at a living wage. Carly lost her home and her way during last year's wildfires in California. She migrated back to her home state of Michigan with her two children without a plan or options until she was introduced to the Zaman International Culinary Program. I feel very empowered being here, the support here. It's a complete family atmosphere here. Yolanda was doing janitorial work with no real future, just lots of messy work and low pay. In just six months, she's now making a living wage, supporting her son, and her biggest plan is to support the organization that changed her life. A year from now, I want to have my name on the platinum donors one day just to give back to where I came from. Both women are working, feeling good about themselves and can bask in the attention of a national commercial and a network news operation that is paving more roads for Zaman, which believes in one human family. Paula Tutman, Local 4.